welcome. I'm Sarah. And I'm Pauline. And today we're going to be reading about dog cloning. So cloning itself is something quite futuristic, I think. I guess not a lot of people think about it on a daily basis because I think for most of us, it's out of reach. It's not something that will ever affect our lives. But if you are a science fiction fan, maybe you are quite familiar with the term cloning. So what do you think? Is there a science fiction trope or kind of technology that you wish could be real right now? Mm, I do think that like with AI technology, we're getting to the point where we might have like robot helpers. I think that would be kind of fun. Mm. Somebody that like a robot that looks like a human, but they're still not. So you don't feel guilty for having them to Mm. run your errands and do things for you. I think that would be, that's something I wish to see down the line, accessible mm. to all people. Yeah. How about yourself? Oh, I really wish that kind of cryo sleep was a thing, you know, in the movies where people go to sleep for like 100 or 200 years mm-hmm. and wake up in the future. What oh. year would you like to? Oh, goodness. A good one. Uh, just <laughs> just one, one day? Be, yeah, just, <laughs> one, just one day, put me back to sleep. <laughs> Just want to get a good night's sleep. That's all I want. Let me, a hundred years sleep will finally refresh me, I think. And hopefully, maybe in the future, I could wake up to some interesting new technology, Mm -hmm. like you'd Mm -hmm. said. I think that would be really cool. Mm -hmm. So, on the topic of today, would you like a clone of yourself? So, I actually, I say that uh, having children is the next best thing to cloning yourself. Mm. I do like myself. <laughs> I, I happen to be a really cool person, and I think I would like a clone of myself. It would be like uh, when people have twins and they spend a lot of time with each other because mm. they it's just like a mirror of themselves. And I think, yeah, if you like yourself, why not have a clone of yourself, your own very very own best friend? <laughs> what about you? It's, your, it's funny, your answer is the exact opposite of me. I'm like a very loud and boisterous person, and sometimes mm. I think one is enough. <laughs> <laughs> one is enough, it's okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the world doesn't need two of me. <sighs> so we hope that you enjoy reading the article today. If you're running short on time, there is a summary that you can check out instead. So take a look at either one of those and then we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Dog cloning. In the past 30 years, the ability to clone mammals has progressed dramatically. Cloning of dogs, which was once considered difficult, was first accomplished in 2005 and is now commercially available around the world. Recently, a Korean YouTuber shared her decision to clone her dog after he passed away. Some fans supported the decision, but others criticized her for not moving on and finding a new pet. The cloning process is expensive and complicated, and many stray animals need homes.